Hello, welcome to my video guys. This is going to be my Flame Flash Sagittario unboxing. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish this unboxing today because every Beyblade I've got with the A0813 stamp has seemed a little bit different. Like, it comes with like different quality. This Flash Sagittario I got didn't have like the metal flakes in it. So hopefully I just ordered one. Like, I messaged the seller, I got in contact with them, and they told me that this wasn't going to be A0813 stamp. So it was pretty expensive because there's like a bunch of A0813 stamped Beyblades like not very many anything else like any other Beyblades than the A0813 stamp seem to be yo what the hell you guys can see that right B1312 yeah that looks different holy no way yeah Yo, this is different. This is different. I didn't... This is a different manufacturer something. Like... This is different. Okay, so the seller I got this from is 88 Power Pig 88 on eBay. I messaged them before and asked them, was it going to be A0813? And they said, no, it is not. So that is the code. And I'm going to unbox it. It looks different. The A0813 Beyblade I got from Basin Bricks, and the B1312 I got from 88 Power Pig 88 on eBay. 1, 2. This one isn't as clear. You can see it now. Even if it's focused in, it looks like unfocused. Okay, here it is zoomed in, so you can see it's not just, like, faded. It's actually blurrier, like the, the lettering... And the print is all different. Okay, so since, like, I've checked, and there seem to be hundreds and hundreds of Beyblade Metal Fight available, um, I don't know how many of them are stamped A0813 versus any different serial number, but available on AliExpress, if you go, there's a bunch of Takaratami Beyblades, like, like, thousands and hundreds. So, like, I don't know if there's anything different in, like, why the Beyblade Metal Fights are cheap, so that's why I'm, like, opening this on camera, like, Okay, like, yeah, it's sealed. And you just let me break the other seal. It has the Manny Limited sticker for, I'm pretty sure that's Hong Kong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Manny Limited sticker is for Hong Kong imports. Here's the tool and packaging. Here are the parts. They already look a bit, not too different, but in box. Yeah, see in seal, you can already see it has the gold, it has the metal flakes. And this one that was marked A0813 doesn't have the metal flakes. Maybe I can do another unboxing so I can show you the ones for A0813 come like that. This flesh stage terror came in that mode. I don't remember which mode this came in, but I think it might have came in that mode. That's everything about it. Let's open it up here. This hurts. This hurts. I'd rather have this in box. The finish feels different right off the bat. It has a different metal feel. Like I don't know how to explain it, but like it feels almost like as soon as like your hands are like touching it, it's like rubbing dust on it. It doesn't feel like it's rubbing dust on you, but like it feels like I don't know, like if it just like it feels like it's rusting as soon as you touch it. It's weird. Here's the stamping on this one. I've already got one. They they just seem like lined up. You know, like if you hold it flat like this, it's like on like almost like a perfect line. It also got the dust flakes in it. So this one's got the flakes. Let's see that. Oh, ooh baby, I'll be able to show you guys the other face bolt. It did not look this nice. It's clean. See, like, it, it will come with stuff like that, but, like, everything else is smooth, right? Like, it will still, 
fit, like no interference to the Beyblade because of like a small like error like that, but like the other ones have big errors. So, like, open this right up. Oh, it's stuck together. Oh, it's not together. It's just stuck on. I'm so dumb. I like. I was like, how is it so stuck together? <laughs> but here it is. You can see it's smooth. Oh, I had dust on it. But smooth. Here's what the track looks like. It's clear. You can see it's like really clear. Like it's like it looks kind of foggy from the sides, but from the bottom, you can see how clear it is. Like hold it like this. So we're gonna finish off unboxing this. Okay, look at this stamp on the tip too. Sharpness of it. I did do one battle with the other ones, but I have other Takara tips that are this pointy and they have had battles as well. So they don't they don't come unsharp, like they come pretty sharp. We're gonna unbox this fairly different quality Beyblade that I have. print is different looks like foggier you can see this is on the right keep that on the right it's clear but like it's foggier print on it it's got like an issue right there Let's see if this one has any issues like that with the symmetrical parts of the track. No, they're all really smooth. It doesn't have any weird bubbles like that. Small differences. But that's like what I've noticed with these. So basically all the A0813 branded 4D have those little excess plastic rods sticking out of the track in some places. Extra plastic. Oh, and then this one didn't even come. The little factory letter number mold mark to compare. I don't know, like, here's the face pulls as well. The other one. You can see, like, on the right there, it has, like, a mess up. And right there on the seam. And that was a little different. But yeah, here is a non-A0813 Flash Sagittario. That's pretty exciting. Like, it looks so nice. I've, I'm so excited about this. You guys do not even know. I've been looking for one of these for a really long time, and I really like Sagittario. It was, it was one of my favorite baits. Like, I don't know for no reason. Like, I got the when I was really little, I got the Sagittario two pack with um Rock Pegasus, and then from that day forward, I just really liked Sagittario. It was just like a top favorite for me. Here's the stickers that it came with. You see. Grab these other stickers, give them a compare. Slightly different color, more saturated. The sticker sheet looks more white, which is pretty like crazy saying because usually like if it's like a fake, the sticker sheet would be yellow. But this is like a regular manila paper type color. Like this is like white white. It's like bleached white. Looks a little bit different. So it's different materials, is what I'm thinking. Like, So this is the non-A0813, this is A0813. They look different, you can already tell. The colors, like, it looks like it's faded, but it's really just, like, not as clear print. Stickers. Launchers seem about the same. Like, honestly, I didn't... I opened one launcher, and it looked the same, so I just threw it in the box. It's literally sitting in my Cree Cygnus box. I'm not going to take it out because it doesn't look any different. Like, I couldn't find any issues with the launcher. Tool, it looked pretty much the same. It had the same print. I don't know, even if, like, a tool is messed up, you can't even really tell because they don't look that great to begin with. They look pretty simple. There's not much going on, so it's really hard to, like, mess it up. But, like, the small stuff like this... This is a whole thing. I'm sorry, guys. This video is getting so long, but I'm just trying to compare all the differences so, like, more people can record their findings, see how many bays exist of each type. 
what differences exist. I don't know, there's not much information on this stuff on the wiki, so I'm just going to post it here. Might just be a small thing, but it would be nice to know like which bays come with the glitter and which don't. So this is one code we know comes with the glitter if you're looking for the glitter. Don't know if it's any heavier. It's like biased to now because I know this one has metal flakes in it, but I'm going to say it's heavier. Got to get like a better scale, like for really small differences in weight because it could be like half a gram more just because it has metal flakes in it. Yeah, they look ever so slightly different. Like, this is how this one came. This is how this one came. It came, like, even shinier. Like, wouldn't you believe? But it's not the same kind of shiny. Don't know how to explain it. The metal just, like, feels slightly different. This one feels like almost like, okay, like waxier metal. Like it was like smoother like that. This is almost like, it feels like polished metal. If you know what I mean? Like it's not like metal sticks to your hand kind of like no matter what. Like even if it's polished, it's kind of sticky like glass. This feels waxy. And yeah, it feels waxy. This feels more like rough, even though it's polished. It's smooth to the touch. But it, it's like glass, like so it's sticky, like it's it's rough, sticky, like that. Different, you know. Like I, I don't have words to describe. Like I don't, I'm not like a metal scientist, but it's different, right? Ever so slightly enough to make me question it. <laughs> Tight. Feels nice. Here's this one. Battled this one once, twice. So it's a bit different. It's like tightness was always different though. Still tight. Like it's the same bay for the most part. Like inverted almost, you see? I'm not just dumb no yeah it's inverted this one's inverted to that one but it does it also doesn't have a mold number so i can't tell what the mold is this one's a2 so maybe it was based off another one maybe it's like a1 and the a1 had a really bad print i don't, I don't know but this is it's different something for you guys to watch out for Metal flakes, no metal flakes. I know. Maybe if <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna complete this series with if I can find a Cree Cygnus. All right. Just as a final rundown, I'm gonna go through all these parts again. So on the right we have B one three one two, and then on the left we have A zero eight one three. Going in with some nerd stuff. Yeah, those tips look a little bit different. But when we take it to this angle, you can see. This one just came a lot more rounded out. It's not even, like, angled the same. Like, it's not even just, like, rounded at the top. It's, like, the entire thing is rounded. Whereas this, like, you can see it has that weird sharp point. The other one does not. This one's just a lot more lumpy. And then you can see the, the bubbles are a lot bigger on that one. Moving over to the face bolts. A lot to see here. Over like that to the seams. And zoom in like this. Shape, shininess. Clear wheels next. Definitely more or less shiny, bright, metallic, flaky, different prints, different stamping it looks like. But yeah, this is it all. 
thank you guys for watching i really enjoyed getting this i'm so hyped about it, that i have this but yeah this was the other one i had and that's why these are just like all the reasons that i wanted to get this one and i don't like this one and it gave me problems and looking at it drives me kind of insane so thank you guys for watching um if i can get a Cree cygnus i'll definitely do a video on that but stay tuned for just more like random burst metal fight and other stuff unboxings um i don't know if i'll have too many comparisons like this but i'm planning to do all the sellers i've bought from and i've found legit base from so i'll show this one all the other ones all right thanks for watching and enjoy the wii music